the Lord always. Mm -hmm. And begin, and again, I say rejoice. Amen. Break the chains at the Master's Round Table. Amen. Friday night. Amen. We could be out there clubbing. Hey! Oh. But we up in here in the Word of God, breaking chains. Amen. Getting my men, you know, ready to fight, amen, with the word of God to live a righteous life. Come on, somebody, amen. amen. We're going to be up there shooting. Get up there throwing up after too much liquor, but hey. Not today. Not today. Come on, talk to him, brother. Not today. Uh -huh. That sickness is done going went away like the bird that flew away, amen. We got nothing but Jesus up in here this evening. Come on, somebody, amen. Amen. We're going to stand on it. Amen. Rejoice in the Lord always. I'm going to come out of King James and I'm coming out of the NIV tonight. Amen. Because I want to make it plain to you. Can I make it plain to you? Yes, sir. Amen. Carly, I got your Bible over here. Amen. You know, somebody want to give them a Bible over there? If not, uh, okay. All right. Rejoice in the Lord always. What is this saying? My, your praises be grateful for the most high. Rejoice. Is he happy about it? Look what it says. Just start off. Rejoice in the Lord with how much? Just, just a minute of the day? Always. Just a Always. little bit? Always. Always. Why? Because there's always gonna be something that comes against you. Oh, uh, he said something. So he done had too many pieces of pizza. He, you know, something, he drank all my Coca-Cola tonight, you know. There's going to be something that comes against you. So the Bible says, always rejoice in the Lord. Amen. I will say it again. What did he say? Rejoice, my God. He said rejoice in the Lord always. He goes, and again I say rejoice. Why does he continue this? He had to come back and say it again. Let it be known. You got to rejoice always. If not, you 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 fall into this this. Oh man, it's not going good my way today. You know I I didn't. You know I, he owed me more money. Oh he should have done it. There you go. All this craziness. Just get up in your mind. You know you know. He said he gonna do this for me. He said he gonna give me. It. And or you know and he just you start battling it right here. Amen. Right. Amen. Amen. But you got to rejoice. <clears throat> He got to say, okay, maybe it didn't go my way. Maybe it didn't go the way I wanted it to be planned. Not, you know, my way. Amen. And maybe God had another reason why it didn't go this way. Amen. Come on, somebody. And maybe I, maybe it's not because of, of, of me that I did something when maybe God didn't want you to go there. So we got to be careful when, when we start grumbling in our own self. And that's why I said we got to stand on God. We got to rejoice always. Amen. Are y'all with me tonight? Amen. Amen. Let your moderation be known unto all men. The Lord is at hand. My God. What is he saying? Let your gentleness be evident to all. The Lord is near. Amen. Amen. That's what I'm talking about. You got to let your, your gentleness be evident. You know, they got to see, you know what? No matter what problems he's going through, no matter what's going on, man, how, how can he just keep cool? What, what's, what's he got that I don't have? Because I'd have been thrown a fit by now. Are you going to pay me my money? Come on, somebody. You're going to give me my shoes back. Something, you know what I'm saying? But he's saying, make your gentleness evident. You, you got, people want to see that in you. They say, okay, well, he's a godly man. He knows the word. Why he acting like a fool? Come on, talk to me, somebody. Why he get all angry and cursing and mumbling and where's his gentleness? Got to rejoice. Always. Amen. Let your moderation be known unto all men. The Lord is at hand. Why? Why is he saying it? Because God is right there. You got you don't forget that God is right there. You got to be careful what you do. You got to show your gentleness. Why? Because when he said the Lord is at hand, Lord is. Lord is with you. Come on, somebody. Amen. He, he's, he's in us. Amen. That's what it's saying. Oh, my God. Let your moderation be known to all men. The Lord is at hand. Be careful for <clears throat> nothing that says, my God. Careful, you know, this, this verse. Be careful for nothing, but in everything 
be by prayer and supplication with thanksgiving. Let your request be made known unto God. Amen. My God, do not be anxious about anything, but in everything, in everything, in every situation, by prayer and petition with thanksgiving, present your request to God. Amen. My God. Amen. But in every situation. Amen. Every situation. By petition, what you you got you got to get on you and say, God, okay, I'm fighting now, God. You know, mm -hmm. you know, uh, you know, when they say petition, you know, you you coming to them and saying, Okay, I'm having a situation right now, but I'm get, I'm coming to prayer now and I'm fighting with you. Mm -hmm. You're gonna do this for me. Amen. Come on, somebody. Amen. You got to you got to help me, Lord. That's mm -hmm. what he's saying. You got you got to give it to him. Amen. Amen. Come on, somebody. Amen. But in every situation, by prayer and petition, what? With thanksgiving, present your request to God. Hallelujah. Whatever you're battling, whatever you're telling God, you know I need your help. But you got to say, God, I, even though you don't do it, I'm still going to thank you. Amen. Amen. Come on, somebody. Amen. I got to give it to him with thanksgiving. Amen. You know what? Amen. If you give it to me right now, I'll take it. If not, I, you know, okay, God. Amen. You, I still got to come and pray, and I still got to come on, somebody. Amen. 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 My God. And I got to give it to him with thanksgiving. My God. Present your request to God. Lord. He says, man, come to me. Thank me for what I'm going to do. Just give it to me. Amen. 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 Give me what you're battling with. Mm -hmm. Give me what's going on in your heart, in your mind. Don't come at me grumbling. He said, oh, my God. He said, give it to him with thanksgiving. Amen. And look what it says, and the peace of God, which transcends all understanding, will guard your hearts and your minds in Christ Jesus. My God. Look what it's saying, my God. And the peace of God, which passes all understanding, shall keep your hearts and minds through Christ Jesus. What is it saying? He said God is, he's going to keep your, your heart and your mind in check. Come on, somebody. Yes. All understand. We don't understand it, but he's saying that you, if you come to me, give it to me. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, under, you, I'm gonna give you the understanding. I'm gonna, I'm gonna keep your heart right and your mind right. Come on, somebody. Amen. Oh, y'all with me now? It says careful means to refers to anxiety. Prayer is the antidote for worry. Three words express different aspects of prayer. Prayer, a worship of attitude. Supplication, a need. And request, the specific concern. Thanksgiving shapes prayers with gratitude. In response, the peace of God brings power to endure. The peace claims a troubling situation when explanations fail. My God. Further peace guards by keeping anxiety from hearts Choices and minds and attitudes. Amen. That's a lot. Yes, Amen. Amen. So these prayers, man, when we come to God and say, God, I, you know, I can't give it to you. I don't understand. You know, I got, I got the, but you know what? Through it all, I still got to rejoice. Yes, I still got to rejoice. Maybe, maybe, maybe it wasn't today that I'm praying for this and I didn't get it. Right. Amen. Amen. Because, it, you know, it, 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 it we get excited, man. You know, we, we we get so quick. We're ready to get angry. We're ready to something ain't right, you know, or, or, we, or we start worrying and stuff and something ain't right. But he said, man, be careful. Mm -hmm. Come on, somebody. Mm -hmm. He said, be careful, amen, because, because it shapes what? Prayers with gratitude. Yeah. Amen. Amen. Prayers with gratitude. <laughs> you got to have gratitude, man. You know what? He's already he's already got your whole, out of a whole bunch of messages. If God don't give you this in this prayer, just hold on for a little bit. Gratitude with the right attitude. Gratitude with the right attitude. Come on, somebody. All right. The peace calms a troubling situation. My God. When explanations fail. This is what it's saying. We can try to explain some things that are not right. right. When the explanation fails, prayer kicks in. Amen. Amen. We can't explain everything that's wrong, everything that, that happens, everything that's not right. right. We, we, if we could, we wouldn't, we wouldn't even go to prayer. I got this. Come on, somebody. 
I explain to myself how I'm going to do it. My God, I'm speaking to somebody. That's right. That's why he said, you know, be careful. Because you get into that anxiety mode. Oh, man, I got fear. You know, uh, something ain't going to go right. Oh, you know, tomorrow they're going to fire me from work or whatever it is. Yeah. The devil is a liar. Right. He said, because my peace, yeah. my peace, he said, surpasses all understanding. Yeah. You got to have peace in life. Right. Without peace, you see, el paz que uno tiene, dice la palabra que te tienes que tener. Una mente que, que sabe lo que Dios, como Dios piensa para que te dé paz. Porque cuando no tienes paz, uno no vive bien. Amen. Amen. Yeah. That's why, that's why, the, y, y por oración dice, eh, el, el oración trae calma el cuerpo que uno cuando se pone nervioso, que no sabe lo que va a hacer, trae la paz. Amen. Cuando te sientes así es porque estás actuando mal, estás pensando mal. Amen. Amen. He says, when we get to that situation where where anxiety kicks in and everything that you ain't living right, yeah. something ain't right with you. Yeah. 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 Right Amen. My God. Talk to me, somebody. Thank you, my Lord. No. Pero el, the peace calms a troubling situation. Pero el paz, cuando algo está mal en tu vida, calma. Y, y, y a veces no sabemos cómo decir por qué hace eso, pero... Cuando uno piensa así y, y uno se cae, dice ese, el paz te lo quita. Amen. Yeah. Amen. My God. And whatever situation you need to up. Amen. Yeah. Further, peace guards by keeping anxieties from hearts and minds and attitudes. Amen. Yeah. Yeah. That, that, that peace, it guards us, man. Yeah. You know what I'm saying, man? You know, I know he's going through some trouble today. I know you're going through it, but... I got more peace than you do. Yeah. Let me share some of this to you. Oh, yeah. Let me give some of this to you. Come on, somebody. Amen. Amen. And the peace of God, which transcends all understanding, will guard your hearts True. and your minds in Christ Jesus. Amen. Guard your hearts and your minds in Christ Jesus. Amen. 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 You know, you know, sometimes we got to guard our hearts, though, you know. Our hearts get troubled real quick. You know, what comes out of this heart comes out of this mouth. Comes out of this heart comes out of here. Amen. But he said, I, can, I, I know how to calm this. How? By prayer and supplication. By petitions coming to God and say, God, I, I need your help right here. I need your understanding. I need your peace. Amen. Come on, somebody. Amen. I can't do it on my own. Amen. He says, finally, brothers and sisters, whatever is true, whatever is noble, whatever is right, whatever is pure, whatever is lovely, whatever is admirable, if anything is excellent or praiseworthy, think about such things. Amen. 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 Think about it. Look at what it says. Whatever is noble, whatever is right, whatever is pure, whatever is lovely, whatever is admirable, what anything is that's extra praiseworthy. Think about that. What is he telling? Don't think about all the negatives. Wow. Mm -hmm. No piensas en el mal. Dice que todo lo que es amor, todo mm -hmm. lo que es que uno mira que está bien, todo lo que es le damos gloria al Señor. Dice la palabra. Piensa en eso. Mm -hmm. No piensa en lo mal, en, 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 en el amargo que tiene uno en el corazón, the bitterness that we have in our hearts. You know, all the, don't, don't think of that. He said, man, that, yeah, he's telling us what to think about. Amen. Amen. Come on, somebody. Come on, he said, whatever is praiseworthy, think about such things. He's telling us, change your mind. I'm Amen. talking to somebody. Change your attitude. Amen. Change your heart. Come on, somebody. Amen. That's what he's telling us. When you start thinking about something, cuando dice, piensa en esas cosas. Dice la palabra. Eso porque cuando uno ya piensa en lo malo en everything, dice no lo piensas. Piensa en lo mejor. Amen. No, ya no piensas con el amargo que tienes en el corazón. Porque uno te hizo mal y, y ya lo estás otra vez, lo estás trayendo para arriba. Come on, somebody. Yes, you know, we Amen. start thinking about all the wrong that he did. He owed me money. He said, he didn't pay my mm. money. He talked about me last week or whatever it is. You know, no, he said, no, that's not how, you know, I want you to think in my peace. Amen. 
I want you to think in my love, amen. You know what I did for you. Come on, somebody. Yeah. My God. Whatever you have learned or received or heard from me or seen in me, put it into practice, my God. Amen. And the God of peace will be with you. Yes, sir. Amen. Ooh, my God. Wow. Todo lo que has aprendido, dice, o lo que has recibido, o lo que has oído, y lo que has mirado en mí, dice, póngalo en práctica. Yeah. Amen. 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 Y, y, y el, el paz del Señor estará contigo, dice la palabra. Amen. 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 Oh, I'm preaching to somebody tonight. Yeah, somebody going to receive this word tonight. Amen. Amen. Whatever you have learned, yeah. what have we been learning? How to get a relationship with Christ. How are we going to get a relationship with God? How are we going to use this word in our lives? Amen. ¿Qué es lo que hemos, hemos entendido? ¿Qué hemos, ¿Qué hemos recibido? La palabra. ¿Cómo vivimos con la palabra? No poniéndote borracho, no estar con, con viejas y cuadradas que no valen. You know, we don't want to be with a bunch of whores out there running the streets. Well, we have learned, we learn how to live by God. Come on, somebody. Amen. Amen. How to live upright. Amen. Amen. How to live righteous. How to know how to pay bills. Amen. How to be, how to know how to give your son, you know, take care of your son now. How to treat your neighbor. Come on, somebody. Amen. How to be upright. How to be a man to stand up with his head up with honor. Amen. And respect. Amen. That's what God is telling us. Amen. This is what we learn. We don't come in here to learn how to be a devil or be out there in the street. Because we already done went through that. I don't know how many years already. Amen. You don't need no more teaching than that. Yeah, got that one down perfect. You got that one down perfect already. Yeah, down perfect. It was so perfect it ended up in prison from it. Perfect. My God. Get up there, man. <laughs> we thought we had it. We thought we had it down, but we ended up in the pit somewhere. Smarter than the fifth grade. Come on. Ain't even smarter than the fifth grade. <laughs> fifth grade will tell you, don't you do it, or you're going to end up messed up. My God. Dude. I think My that's God. what the world does to us, though. You know what I'm saying? That's I think when we're, when we're out there in the, in the world, living by the world, that it, uh, it tricks you. You know what I'm saying? It makes you believe that you, that really that you got this, that you don't even, you don't even, like, when I was out there, I didn't even think about God. You know what I'm saying? Didn't think about praying. Didn't know that. Cause I got this. This is, I'm doing this. I gotta take care of this. You know what I'm saying? To, to a point to where it destroyed me. You know what I'm saying? Destroyed me with drugs. Destroyed me with bad women. Destroyed me all the way to the penitentiary where my cellar was a chum I had to slap around. Mm. Wow. The kids shut this in the world's house. I like it. Wouldn't let me. Wouldn't let me come home no matter how bad I wanted to. You know what I'm saying? Come on. I was stuck. Truth. I was. I was stuck. For me to come home, I had to be there long enough to change. Long enough for somebody to to give me the Bible and introduce me to Proverbs and push-ups and then make me want to go join a faith-based dorm or a program where they taught God and God principles. You know what I'm saying? That's what it took. It took that long for me to come home and realize that the world had me tricked. That, that my belief system as it was was not a belief system at all. You know what I'm saying? It was it was it's crazy how it's it's crazy how the devil makes everything so real. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Uh, um, I can relate to that because sticking to your neighborhood in the ways of the world and not sticking into the word of God is, is a whole whole different game play. It, it's by little by little. <laughs> when I was young, I was in church. I went to church every Wednesday, every Sunday with my grandma. You know what I'm saying? Every, I loved going to church. I had a church song that let me drive. When I became old enough to, to I wasn't even old enough to drive. I was just old enough to steer the car and so they let me drive the van. I, first, I got to start back back in the van out of the, the garage to go to church. Then it got to where I could drive on the country roads before we got into town. You know, so I looked forward to church. And then as time went on, and you know, people died off on me, and, and, and that influence wasn't there, and I got to train. Like I said, I, I can't even tell you an exact moment where, where it was a slow process to where like a bell was just like this. And finally when it got like this, I didn't even think about this. I thought everything was me. I was doing everything. And now don't get me wrong, I wasn't just a horrible person. You know what I'm saying? But not being a being a, a decent person doesn't mean that you're living right. Doesn't mean you're living like God wants you to. You know what I'm saying? And the devil will even use that. 
mask to to make you think. Well, you know, I, I, I'm I, I ain't robbing my grandma. I ain't out here doing this and doing that. I'm a good dude, but you're still not living right, mm -hmm. and that's not what God wants you. God wants you to live righteously, like Pastor said, upright. You know, pay your bills. I mean, I'm tell you, I don't worry about paying no bills. Yeah, awesome. yeah, if, if I had a bill coming, I'm gonna move from your couch to his couch. You know what I'm saying? That's real talk. Don't worry about no bill. That's my witness right there. What? I said, he called me, say, he said, man, I, I just need a car. I want to do this. I said, you know what? I'm going to do this, man. He's going to learn how to pay bills and, and be responsible to pay his bills. He's not going to run from one house to sleep in somebody else's couch. <laughs> that's my witness. I said that today and you said it right out your mouth. Because yeah. that's how we used to be. I'm talking to somebody today. That's how we used to be. Oh, I got to pay my bill. You know what? No, I'm not. I'm going to keep this knot in my pocket right here. I'm gonna go to the next cabin. I'm sitting right here with a knot in my pocket and I ain't gonna spit. I'm gonna take off. I ain't gonna pay my bill. I'm gonna keep this money in my pocket. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna take off. I'm gonna go see here and let me stay in this house. Chill for free. That's it. Man. And I'm gonna use this money to go down to the Tata -ta bar somewhere over there. Throw my money away. Come on, somebody. I know my best one like this. <laughs> I'm, I'm gonna, gonna keep my money. I ain't gonna pay my car. I don't care. I'm gonna hide it. I'm gonna hide it so the repo man won't come. My God. Now, hey man, can I call you? Hey, listen to this. Can I call hey man? Can I can I come stash it my car at your house? What for? I, I ain't paying my bill this month. The devil is a liar. Not not today. That's not us today. Come on, somebody. Amen. Hey, my, man. my best dope thing was just having that knot in my pocket and being like, I'm gonna go get this this ounce and I'm gonna flip it. I'm gonna get that ounce and four days later, I done did it all up. But now I ain't got nothing to flip. Mm. <laughs> that was my worst one. And then and didn't even care about Sunday. Didn't care. Didn't care about or if our kids didn't eat. Didn't care. Our wife didn't eat. Come on, somebody. Amen. That's how we used to be. Amen. That's on that wide road of destruction. Amen. 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 Let me take you out to the word on that. Amen. On. But let me finish up right in here. It says, whatever you have learned, this, or received, have we received it? Amen. You got to be careful. He said, lo que has, lo que has aprendido. O lo que has recibido, pero tenemos que tener cuidado porque no, en realidad no hemos recibido. No mm -hmm. nos estamos oyendo. Amen. We got to be careful because we think we received it, but we're just hearing it, but we're not truly receiving it. Why, why because when we begin to receive it, we don't walk in them old ways. Come Amen. on, somebody. Amen. Amen. Because we've already learned and we've learned how to receive it. Come on somebody. Amen. Amen. You, you see what I'm saying? You get the picture now and say, okay. those who have learned and have received, because you can learn but not receive. My God, Amen. I'm speaking to somebody. Right. Amen. Amen. Well, yes, we learn. We learn how to do tire yeah, and shoe. Yeah, we yeah. learn how to paint a car, but have we received what God is telling us? Amen. Come on somebody. Amen. What you have learned and received or what? Or heard Amen. from me or seen in me Put it into practice, and the God of peace will be with you. Man, this is deep right here, man. You know, we got to understand, you know, yes, even, you know, when we see a brother, he was, he was writing what you've seen in me. You see how I'm living? He said, now put it into practice. Come on, somebody. He said, he said you got, you, you can't only just learn it, receive it, and see somebody walking in it, and don't put it into practice. Amen. Puedes aprenderlo, recibirlo y luego oírlo, pero si no lo pones en práctica, no te sirve para nada. Exactly. Come on, somebody. Amen. It don't, it don't go nowhere. You can learn it, you can receive it, but if you don't put it to practice, you go back into being the old way, like we just talked about. We want to keep money in our pocket for us. We don't learn how to help somebody else. We don't. We're not responsible no more. Amen. That's where that drug and alcohol took us. Amen. That's how that crazy thoughts in our mind, and from the drug alcohol, went to lust and went to prostitute. We prostitute our own self just for drugs. Yeah. Come on, somebody. Amen. Let me fix your car. Let me fix your car. Can you give me a What you doing? Mm -hmm. You're selling yourself. You're prostituting yourself just to get high. That's it. I do that. Amen. Come on, somebody. No, I'll give you my shoes, man. You just, you just hook me up. You can prostitute yourself, yourself with some shoes. I know. My God, I'm talking to somebody tonight. Yeah. That's where that drug takes us. That's where that alcohol takes us. Amen. 
Digo, somos como una, una, una mujer que se vende la, el cuerpo por algo para comer o algo. Somos lo mismo cuando andamos todos drogados. Digo, mira, te lavo el carro, nomás dame algo. O te vendo, mi, te doy mis, mis zapatos, dame algo. Pues, ¿qué estás haciendo? Amen. Eres como una mujer que se está vendiendo el cuerpo. Come on, somebody. It makes it so you don't care. And you don't even realize it. Right? You, don't need, you don't care. But my God, mm -hmm. not today. Amen. Amen. Why? Because it says, or see me, put it into practice, and the God of peace will be with you.